Hello everyone and welcome back to more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I am of course your host, the Owl Hat. When we left off, Mercurio was in kind of a bad state. We managed to get his astrolite, but he was not doing too hot. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. I'm just bringing my friend who's being treated some personal items. Alright, go on back. Aha! <laughs> what do we have here? Open. Go in. Uh, uh, oh shit. Get a doctor. Girl, if you're vomiting blood, I'm not. Uh, okay, my okay. Sucks. Jesus. So Calm down. Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. There's a girl over there, and I think she's gonna die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her, keep her awake. Um, but... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Dr. Roberts, a half hour ago. He'd be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Ugh, what um... time is it? If, his, if he's got a bullet in his head and he's still alive, I feel like he'll probably be fine. I mean, what can you really do once the bullet's in there? But this girl is not feeling too good. Oh, uh, ah, the mouse. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me, I can save you. Uh, uh, um... Seriously, dude, come on. You'll be alright. Okay, come on. We can do this. Just please continue. Come on. Stop crying. Here, drink this and live. Disgusting. Man, I need some sun. Well, I mean, not so much, but you know what I mean. Uh, uh, um, Gross, you just drank my blood. What is wrong with you? You alright? You... Boy, who... Uh, who are you? Uh... What did you do? That's a complicated what did question. What you do to me? I don't exactly feel comfortable answering that. Uh... Nothing. I was never here, man. I was never here. Now, room two. Anything in here? Anything? Clipboard. I have no idea who that is. Open. Um, can I get in here? I can't get in here. Can I get in here? I can get in here. Uh, ooh, a book! Um, um, books! When you get books in the game, you can actually raise your skill level that way. Very, like I said, Vampire Skyrim. Very much that way. I'm not gonna bother reading that description. It's a computer book. We just upped our computer skill. Very good thing. Now, um, email. Uh, <laughs> I can't type. Email. Um, password required. Hack it. Lakers. Okay. I don't judge. Just think that's a little easy. One. Hey, Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to the controlled substances for some morphine? That's what we're talking about. I forgot where the morphine was. F dog. Thanks, F dog. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. Oh shit, that's cold, but I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. By the way, tell your mom to stop calling me a dog. <laughs> Friends, man, what are they for? So it seems like our erstwhile Jamaican doctor is maybe up to some shit? Seems like it. Room four. Anything in here? Anything? This stuff, pill bottle. Did it just disappear? I swear, I didn't actually pick it up. Open. So I need to go up to controlled substances. Wonder if I got the lock picking for this. Lock picking of four. Ooh, what do we got? What is our lock picking is one. Yeah, that's not so great. Dexterity. Um. Dexterity. Four. We can raise it. Sneaking. So that's pretty good. Except. I think with our. Where is it? Where? Blood buff. 
No, that was not the right thing. Ah, there's, I hit the right button. Well, I managed. Yes, success. No, don't put that away. Jeez. Now zoom back in. There we go. I got a little confused with the keys here. I've been playing a game called the, uh, well, it doesn't really matter what it's called, but I've been playing it. Totally been playing it. Well, I got the morphine bottle then. I don't really... Yeah, quest log updated. Um, email. I don't know. P-A-N Panacea. Okay. Tonight. Malcolm, when are you free tonight? Uh-oh. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. Malcolm, do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week. Okay, okay. I am starting to remember it here. I think I remember what happens. Now, if I remember correctly, by the way, let me check our log. Or it's some morphine, which should ease Mercurio's pain quite nicely. You know, I've acquired something else as well. And, uh... I'm getting no response. I told you. I will get yeah. to you when I can. I'm about Please to get, get a response. Seat. I'm about to get a response from you, homie. You, Malcolm? Your wife know about your affair? Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? I can see that, but divorce is expensive. All I'm asking for is a few bucks. I guess you don't care if your wife Can finds I out then. Blackmail me? Oh yeah. You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now I get figure. Out. I figure it out. We live in the age of the internet, man. Go ahead and forward that email from Paige to Trina at VTM. Wait. That's... What do you want? Seventy-five Damn. bucks. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. And you'll never speak to me about that again. Put it in the mailbox for 508 in the apartments over at the pawn shop, doctor. How are his vitals? Doctor, screw around. All right, that was pretty good. I am pretty happy with that. That went very well. I was worried we were going to have to go upstairs. There would have been a policeman. He probably would have shot me and I'd have had to eat him. Because, you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. All right, now we're going to go and drop these off with Mr. Mercurio and check out... So, uh, Therese Vorman, if I remember correctly, that is what we were doing, right, guys? Go ahead and remind me. I cannot remember. Uh. I brought you some morphine. Hold still. It was in a pill oh. bottle, so... Oh, holy Christ, I needed that. Some questions about Santa Monica? No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty set. I think we're all good here. Let's get out of here and get on with our lives. Nobody still cleaned up that blood. It's disgusting. Kindred in need of powerful servitors often cultivate ghouls by giving them mortal or animals a sip of their blood. There's some handy shit. Um, where is that going? I was going this way? Question mark? Anyone over here? Anyone over here doing anything interesting? No? Hey, baby. Looking for a... No, 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 continue, continue, what are you doing? Day? Oh, no, I don't want... No thanks, I'll pass. I was just curious what you had to say, I had forgotten. Forgive me for that. Still getting somewhat used to the controls again. It's been a long time. Actually, it's been a couple of days since I played this. I'm looking... <laughs> I'm so used to the controls for a different game, I straight up just went looking for the sprint button. It's the Asylum, by the way. I may have mentioned some great bands over here. The Empire Hideous is one of them. Vampires have long been feared as rapacious monsters of the night. Terrible black forms sweeping out of the darkness to steal infants from their cribs and ravage the blood of the innocent. I had to read it quickly. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? A little bit. Frightening isn't the word I'd use. Exciting is more like it. Not really, but go ahead. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. That makes absolutely no sense, but go when ahead. When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. Uh, that's what I was thinking. What's your name? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. 
Lady, you are creepy as fuck. Richard the G's got a name I can remember you by. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. Oh god, I hope not. Uh, soon can't come soon enough. Goodbye. I'm trying to play it nice here. I don't drink alcohol. You're a funny guy. You'd be the first stand-up comedian I've knocked down. I will fucking eat you. You don't know me, bro. I'm looking for Therese. You know where I can find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she has business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette beckering from here. Why do you need to see her? Called earlier about the bartending job I need to fill right away. There you go. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Sorry, I had to be the one to tell you. Get that it's realistic, but it is very loud in there. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica, not stuck up bit. Ooh, so burn! Gorgeous. I can't even look at you sometimes. Open the door. Yes, no. Open the door! <laughs> Come on, you turned man. A flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century bud. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked, painted house, concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't Stealing your ring for back. making me wait. Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? Open the That's door, it, you lame ass. You're street. so slow. Come on, hurry up. As always. Uh, oh, yeah, now it's open. Good. Good, another crazy blonde lady. That's a vampire. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. If you say so, I guess that means you're Therese. Um, yeah, let's just go with that. Therese Borman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? I need you to call off the feud with Bertram Tongue. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. You're really fond of that word. Phobias don't concern me, just tell him everything's cool. Hey, well, you know what? Why do you hate he him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister, and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. I'm just going to keep saying it until you uh, chill out. I'm going to find him and kill him. Then you can put out the word that you've got no feud with him? Why would I do that? Uh, Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Like, super pretentious? Because that's how you're coming off here. That's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures. And one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. 
Oh, good equip. <laughs> Another goddamn waste of my time. Gladly. What do I have to do? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. I'll do it if you promise to call off the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Because you are clearly not an egomaniac. I can respect that and I appreciate it. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Sewers, you can't seriously expect me to wade through such filth. If that's what it takes to get the job done, man. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Uh... Fine, fine, go ahead. You know what? You go ahead and handle that. And on the subject of that strangely shaped bed, I'm going to call it an episode, creepy. I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. If you enjoyed that, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. Go ahead and tell me what you thought in the comments section, and I will see you next time.